Hi everyone, my name is Winter Gary and I'm the Communications and Events Coordinator for the Highlands Biological Foundation. Some of you may recognize me as a former assistant naturalist at the Highlands Nature Center or maybe from some of our past virtual programs. My background is in environmental science and today I want to talk about one of my favorite topics, which is water. The Southern Appalachian region is classified as a temperate rainforest, so we have a lot of water. Highlands actually broke its annual rainfall record in 2020 when we received 136.5 inches of rain. That's only 3.5 inches away from the state record, which is currently held by Mount Mitchell. So where does all the rain go? Well, some of it gets evaporated into the atmosphere. Some of it gets taken up by plants and animals or used by those of us who live in the region. But a lot of the rain that falls here on the Highlands Cashiers Plateau actually provides the headwaters for several different rivers. Not all of these rivers actually drain into the same major body of water. That's because the plateau actually straddles two different river basins. So we have the Little Tennessee River Basin, which is to the west and north, which eventually drains into the Gulf of Mexico. Then we have the Savannah River Basin, which is to the east and south, and eventually drains into the Atlantic Ocean. So the boundary where these two river basins meet is called the Eastern Continental Divide. And this actually goes just along Whiteside Mountain and through the town of Highlands. So on one side of the mountain, we have the Horse Cove Road area where the rain falls and water collects into the Chichuga River, which is in the Savannah River Basin, and that will eventually end up in the Atlantic Ocean. And then on the other side, which is pretty much the rest of Highlands, we have the Colasage River. So all of the rain goes into that river, which is in the Little Tennessee River Basin, which drains into the Gulf of Mexico. So it's really crazy to think that on one side of the mountain, the rain falls and goes to one major body of water, and on the other side of the mountain, it goes into another. Thanks for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned to our social media pages for more just like it. See you next time.